Watford Grammar School. A team of students are researching the part recycling played in the 2012 London Olympics. The flagship building is the main stadium for what is claimed to be the greenest, most sustainable games ever. And we're wondering if you could help us make something recycled of our own. So if we're using this wood from demolition sites in London, what are the energy benefits? For these students, this is an important piece of the big green message from the games. Be more sustainable by recycling, saving energy by using things again. But what can they learn from the games to make their own lives more sustainable? And can they actually create their own recycled product to add to the Olympic Park and become part of the Green Games success story? They really have completely transformed the capital. In 2012, the games came to London. Well, there's an iPad and some drink scans. What are the cans for? For this team of students from Watford Grammar School, just north of London, their school day has just finished. Let's see what we're stuck with now. They're all studying science and mathematics, and they're about to be presented with their big Olympic challenge. Their mission is all about recycling, but it's going to be rather more exciting than just our little cans. Can watch a video? No? Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's one on there. Got it. They're going to meet one of the architects of the Olympic Stadium. Well, our approach to building the Olympic Stadium was to make the building as recyclable as possible. And to do that, you don't just use recycled materials, you actually look at the building itself and see how we can make components of that building recyclable. So what we'd like you guys to do is to come into our office in Poppers and see if you can design a part of the building yourselves and see if you can make that bit as recyclable as possible too. The team has come to Populous, the architects that designed the London Olympic Stadium. These struts which hold up the roof, is it? Are these made out of recycled materials? Is that what makes it so green? I mean, the compression truss itself is made out of gas pipeline stock of tubular steel. And if we use elements that maybe were assigned for being used in different buildings or different tasks and then incorporate them within the building itself. So what type of things are held in the pods and why are they so um, sustainable? The idea here is that if you were to build these pods into the building itself, you'd add a lot of weight to the building. The building itself would just grow and get exponentially bigger. So what we're able to do here is basically create these pods and use them basically for the, for the games itself. So when you have 80,000 people here, you have a certain number of pods. When we reduce the scale of the building later, those pods disappear and the building drops in size and scale. You can take these pods and you can basically start locating them all around the country. So they can become these little memories of the games. Right guys, well what we're going to do now, we're going to get some of you, to see if you can recreate one of these pods or your own version of the pod on the CAD system that we run here. And then the other half of you, we're going to see if you can build a piece of um, completely recyclable street furniture that will be used around the stadium island. So next stop for three of the team is a cafe made from old shipping containers and overlooking the Olympic Stadium. They are here to meet Rick Levine, the inspiration behind Furniture on the Street. Hi guys, I'm Rick Levine. What can I do for you? Yeah, well, we've just come from the architect's office where we've learned about how sustainable the Olympics are going to be and we were wondering if you could help us make something recycled of our own. Okay. Rick and the team take a look at some of the recycled benches he's built for the view tube. The great thing about it is you won't find anything like this in you know, any other streets in London. Back at Populous, the other three members of the team are playing around with more high-tech sustainable ideas. So what would these pods be used for? We were really intending them to be sent around the country, to be used in schools, maybe for sporting facilities. Inspired, the two teams come together with Rick and one of their maths teachers. Time for them to get into some real energy-saving discussions. Here's a sample of the wood that was used to make the pentagonal bench that you saw before. So if we're using this wood from demolition sites in London, what are the energy benefits, do you think? When fewer trees are cut down, there'll be more carbon dioxide absorption, so less climate change yeah. due to the carbon dioxide. Yeah, Very good point. Point. Well, you've got the cost of importing the wood from wherever it came from. Okay, so using this type of wood, which has been reclaimed for building the furniture that you're going to design, saves an incredible amount of energy. Thank you. 
So let's think about the amount of energy we can save if we recycle something tangible, this drink scan. 15 kilowatt hours will give you one kilogram of aluminium. So how many grams of aluminium are needed for one can? 15 grams. And then we're going to look at how much energy we need to make a new can from a recycled can, which I think is 5% of that energy requirement. I think that means that if all the secondary schools in the UK recycled all of the aluminium cans used in them for one year, it would save around £10 million in electricity. Is That's that right. right? That's right. Now we're going to design a bench. Um, you've had a good look outside, so you've seen some exciting ideas. We're going to do this this afternoon, and then the manager of the YouTube, Paul, and myself, are going to decide which one of the six designs is actually going to be made and installed here on the Olympic Park. Okay, go for okay. it. <laughs> okay, I've got some legs. I'll leave them right. Have we got an idea already? I have noticed that here. The metal that you folded into the spring, so you've got your back. It has an aluminium springy bottom and a single piece of wood. So it's my pleasure to announce that the winner is. Callum should have won. Looks like a bookend. There's so many birds sitting on it <laughs> non stop. This was meant to be made out of recycled wood, and Callum's was made out of recycled wood. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, also yeah. meant to be a bench. <laughs> Rick has brought the team back to the ViewTube to discuss where he sourced the recycled wood for Callum's bench and to get the team to decide on the all important question of the colour. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 How, are How are you? I'm fine. But let me show you where we've, where we've got to. Uh, the timber here has come from a local match factory that got closed down. And um, this wood has been lying around for 50 years. So in terms of colours, I thought this would get us, get us started. Yeah? Ah. Oh, yellow, oh, yellow. Yellow, yellow. It's no, actually no, beautiful. No, I want no, 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 yellow. 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 There's too much yellow. <laughs> Johnny suggested um, the colour of the view tube. It's not a standard colour, but we could find it. Who's voting for blue? Okay, two. Who's voting for yellow? That was popular. <laughs> <laughs> Who's voting for the view tube yes. colour? Yeah. Next time you see it, it will be in the view tube greeny yellow colour. Two weeks later, Rick has got just two hours to get the bench delivered and installed for the grand reveal to the Watford team. However, that morning there has been a security alert at the Olympic site and they can't have the bench delivered by lorry. They have to carry it in by hand and Rick's not sure if it will fit through the security fence. And will he get it set up in time? Thank you. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Let us sit on top of it. Yes, I'll try to sit on top. Okay, guys, what do you um, what do you think? I think it's incredibly it's playful. Really yeah, it? judging by how terrible it is. I think it's, think it's much better than yours. I think it is probably better. Okay, cat. No, the bench is lovely, but is it sustainable? Well, I think so because if you think that the wood came locally and would have otherwise ended up in landfill. I think it definitely is a, is a good addition to this space. Yeah. What do you think, it's Callum? Just have your plans come to fruition? I, I think they have. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. 